Okay, uh, hello and good day everyone, no? So continuation doon sa topic natin, no, about variation. Okay, so today we are going to discuss na na yung combined variation, no? So this is la the last topic, no, sa variation natin, dito natin discuss yung partial, okay? And then last topic na rin dito sa first quarter, okay? Now, combined variation, no? It is the combination of direct, inverse and joint variation. So lahat i-combine na natin dito, no? It's either of these three or two of these uh, type of variation. Okay? Examples, no? T varies directly proportional to U and inversely proportional to V. No? Paano natin i-write yung equation niya? Magiging T equal to K U over by V. No? Kasi yung U, direct proportional siya while yung V, inversely proportional. Okay? Another one. P varies directly as the square of M and inversely as the cube of B. No? So we have P here, directly proportional as the square of M. So magiging KM squared yan over by B cube. Kasi as, inversely as the cube of B. No? Or we can write it in this way. Okay? Another one. W varies jointly with N and cube root of H. No? So kung i-write natin yung variation equation niya, we have W equal to k n cube root of h no so as you can see excuse me as you can see iba-iba yung mga formula nat i mean yung, yung mga equations natin pagdating sa combined variation no kasi wala tayong fixed na sinusunod dito depende yan sa mga variations na pagsasama-samahin natin okay so now here no uh, a varies directly as b and inversely as c no? And A is 84 when B is equal to 12 and C is equal to 5. What is the, var the constant variation here? Okay? So we have here the, the equation muna. No? We have A is equal to K, yung constant, directly as B, inversely as C. Okay? Substitute your A to 84 to find the constant here. K is unknown, B is 12, over by your C is 5. No? So here, multiply muna natin 84 times 5, no? that is equal to 420. Then divide both sides by 12. Cancel this out. Your K here is equal to 420 divided by 12 is 35. Okay. So, ganun lang kadali. No? Next, medyo natatakpan siguro tong number 2. No? So, babasahin ko lang. Z varies directly as the square of X and inversely as Y. Okay. Directly as the square of X to ha? And inversely as Y. Find the constant of variation and the equation if z is 24 when x is 12 and y is 10. And what is z when x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 5? Okay? Una is yung variation. No? Ano yung, I mean yung, yung equation. Ano yung equation natin dito? Since z varies directly as the square of x, so magiging z equal to kx squared and inversely as y. So y yung nasa baba. No? Then find the constant variation. Substitute. Itong unang tatlong given, no? Your z is 24, your k is unknown, we have x is 12, no? we have 12 squared over by your y is 10, no? 24 times 10 muna, then 12 squared is equal to 144, no? 24 times 10 is 240, divide by 144, cancel out, then we have k is equal to 240 over by 144 kasi hindi natin pwedeng i-divide yung 240 sa 144, no? Because... 240 is not divisible by 144, but we can get the lowest term. What is the lowest term here? We have 5 thirds. Okay? Now, what is Z naman when X equal to 6, Y is equal to 5? No? Z nga hanapin. Your K is 5 thirds. Your X is 6. Your Y is 5. No? So, uh, simplify mo na yung 6 squared. Mayiging 5 thirds times 36 over by 5. Then, 5 times 36, that is equal to 180. Divide by 3, over by 5. 180 divided by 3 is equal to 60. And 60 divided by 5 is equal to 12. So that is your Z. Okay? Now, problem solving. The stiffness of a beam varies jointly as its width and thickness and inversely as the square of its length. No? Okay, a beam with length of 15 feet 
width of six feet and thickness of nine feet has a stiffness of six. How long is beam? If its width is 15 feet and thickness is 10 feet and has a stiffness of two. Okay. Ano muna una yung gagawin natin? Equation muna. No? Stiffness of a beam varies jointly as width and thickness. No? So magiging S equal to K WT inversely as the square of length. So nasa baba yung length. Squared pa siya. Now, find the constant variation here or yung K. No? If a beam with length of 15, 15 feet, no? yung, yung stiffness natin ito 6 equal to your K. Yung width natin is 6 times your thickness is 9 over by yung length natin dito kanina, sabi ka 15 feet, so may 15 squared yan. Simplify, you have 6 equal to 6 times 9, that is equal to 54 over by 15 squared, that is equal to 225. Then multiply, 6 times 225, and that is equal to 1,350 equal to 54. Then divide both sides by 54, cancel this out, then we have here, no? 1,350 divided by 54 is equal to 25, which is your K. Okay? Next, hanapin naman natin yung length, no? Given yung uh, stiffness, yung width, at saka yung thickness, and then yung constant. Substitute. Stiffness is 2, yung constant is 25, yung width natin is 15, yung thickness natin is 10 over by L squared. Okay? Multiply natin to 2 times L squared is equal to 25 times 15 times 10. That would be equal to 3,750. Then divide both sides by 2. Cancel out natin to. We have L squared is equal to 1,875. No? Kasi dinivide natin to eh. Yan. Then get the square root of both sides. We have L is equal to what is the square root of 1,875. That is equal to 43.5. Three. Now, using calculator, you can get this answer. Okay? Exercise. No? A varies inversely as the product of B and C. And A is equal to 2, 7. When, when B is equal to 5 and C is equal to 7. Now, what is the constant variation? A is equal to K. Kasi nga sabi, inversely as the product of B and C. So, yung B and C nasa baba. Okay, substitute. 2 7 is equal to k over by 5 times 7. We have here 2 7 equal to k over by 35. Cross multiply tayo. Magiging 2 times 35 times k times 7. Ito, 2 times 35 is 70. Then divide both sides by 7. Cancel out. Then 70 divided by 7 is 10. Your k is 10. Okay. Next. Y varies directly as x and inversely as the square of z. If y is 1 over by 27, when x is equal to 4 and z is equal to 6, what is x when y is equal to 4 and z is equal to 5? Uh, equation muna. We have y equal to kx, directly kasi siya, inversely naman as the square of z. Substitute, 1 over by 27 equal to k times your x is 4 over by, over by your z is 6, now 6 squared. Then we have here, 6 squared is 36, cross multiply. 1 times 36 is equal to 4 times 27. That would be equal to 108. Divide both sides by 108. Cancel out. Then we have 1 thirds here for, for K. Di ba dyan tapos? Hanapin natin yung X. Okay? Your Y here is 4. Your K is 1 third. Unknown pa yung X. Yung Z is 5. No? Simplify natin. We have 25 here. Cross multiply. 4 times 25 equal to 1 thirds x. Then we have here 100 equal to 1 third x. Multiply 100 times 3, that is equal to 300. Therefore, your x is 300. Okay? Next. Next. If s varies directly as r and inversely as t, no? what is the, con what is, I mean, and S equal to 15 when R is equal to 20 and T is equal to 40. Find S when R is equal to 12 and T is equal to 20. Again, the lawang solution. Una, to find the value, the value of K or the constant. Substitute. So, you have 15 equal to K times 20. Galing yan dito. Ito. Your T is 40. Yan. Cross multiply. 15 times 40. That is 600. Divide both sides by 20. 
Then we have 600 divided by 20 is 30. That is for your K. Now, for S naman, substitute lang natin. No? Si K is 30. Si R is 12. Si T is 20. Yan. 30 times 12, that is 360 divided by 20 is 18. So your S is 18. Okay, that's it. Thank you for listening. Again, do not forget to answer your exercises. No? And please uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. By the way, your quiz and assignment to be followed na. Okay, so that's all. Goodbye and take care.